Well, it could cost the state tens, possibly hundreds of millions of dollars right now as new threats of invasive species emerge. Joining us this morning, Darcy Oishi, the acting manager for the Department of Agriculture's Plant Quarantine Branch. Thanks for being here. I like being called the mayor first. I know I called you the mayor early. Sorry. You could, you could, I could say that because you're very knowledgeable. You're taking control of this stuff. So let's talk about some of the problems here that we're dealing with, including the new one you guys just found in December, right? Um, that's a, it's a big bug. Yeah. Um, here. Oh God, he's gonna um, make me hold this it. Is this is the <gasps> coconut rhinoceros beetle. We just yeah. discovered it on it's alive. <laughs> December 23rd. It was one of my Christmas presents this year. Yeah. Uh, I didn't get to open it on Christmas, though. And this one Not is quickly. a major uh, pest of coconuts. It also attacks a variety of, of other palms, other trees. Um, the larvae, it's these moving. guys. It's moving. Uh, okay. uh, I'll rescue you. <laughs> you. The larvae, um, they get. Well, about this big, yeah, big. before they pupate, <clears throat> and uh, they actually live in decomposing material, which and is again, why these are really affecting the coconut trees. They're killing the, uh, especially the young ones, right? Uh, yes, they tend to attack. Uh, well, they can kill young coconut trees quickly, but they will attack just about. They like coconut trees, and what happens is the adults, um, the adults feed on the crown of the coconut. Mm, okay, and it's a serious problem. Uh, and that's and they suck the juices out of it. Okay, so. so definitely a big concern for you guys. Another one too, we got to talk about another really big concern um, that you guys are trying to get out there more: the little fire ants. Yes. And I know, and in, in the past month or so, you guys have been trying to get the message out. This is really, really important. You guys are very concerned about little fire ants. Um, yes, little fire ants are little, and but little does not mean that they don't have. Bad impacts and nice. little fire ants actually have tremendous impacts and can really impact the state in terms of um, human health, the health and welfare of our pets and animals, right. and even our way of life. Uh, they get up in the trees. They uh, they they're so tiny too. Yeah, you and can barely see them. Look at that. And uh, they'll feed on. They can live up in the trees indefinitely, and um, what is bad about these is uh, they'll they'll f get, be get behind right. your clothes when painful they fall bites, on you, yeah. and they'll bite you and render pretty painful bites. Yeah. And well, there's a documentary coming out too soon, right? In, yes, uh, there's a documentary on. Um, I think it's coming on Saturday, uh, Saturday and Sunday S on KITV, and there's public showing too. Um, this is the Maui uh, Invasive Species Committee. They're really yes, the Maui Invasive Species Committee uh, began putting it together four years ago. Oh wow! Um, unfortunately, I'm featured in it, or fortunately, depending <laughs> on how you view it. Um, and uh, it just so happens that they completed it and and had it ready for showing. Just as we right, got into the station. And this is just real quick to show here. This is the um, um, hapu uh, wood, and that's something that's been transporting some yes. of the fire ants here to to Oahu, which you guys are desperately trying to stop because, of yeah. course, you don't want that spread. Right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Hapu has moved between Keep an eye on that. from the Big Island, where little fire ants are really well established, especially on the east side of the Big Island. Yeah. And uh, because of all the little nooks and crannies I oops, in a log, tough. Uh, it's really hard for inspections to occur that w will actually ensure that it's free and it's moved. And we are trying to track down where all the hapu has gone that was potentially infested. Right. Right well, now. so that documentary coming up um, again uh, Saturday, Sunday here Invasion, Little Fire Ants in Hawaii. Uh, keep an eye out for that. There's also going to be some public showings coming up, and we'll have more information about that on our website, KITV.com. Thanks for, for being here, Darcy, and for You're welcome. opening people's eyes. All right.